Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Donna and if you're into style, fashion, handbags like I am, then you're at the right place. So don't forget to subscribe below and turn on notifications. I'm so excited for today's video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Lou camera bag, as you can see in my dust bag. And I feel like I say this for all my videos, but I really am excited. I love doing handbag videos. So we're going to be covering today, as I said, we're going to be reviewing the bag. We're going to look at the wear and tear of the bag, what fits in it, as well as just a general review of its pros and cons. So without further ado, let's get started. I purchased this bag about a year and a half ago at Holt Renfrew. And Holt Renfrew is like the Canadian equivalent of, I would say, like Saks Fifth Avenue in the United States. I purchased this bag for $1,500 tax included, and that's in Canadian dollars. And as you know, with Chanel, Cartier, there has been a bit of a price hike, and the same is also true with Saint Laurent. So on their website, this bag is posted for $1,700 Canadian dollars tax included. And honestly, yes, it is a bummer that it has gone up. I completely agree, don't get me wrong. But as I hope you will see by the end of this video, I feel like it's still a very good purchase of great value for the price you pay. As I hope you'll be able to see at the end of this video, it is a very durable bag. It fits a ton, it's versatile. And when you think about it, yes, I agree, $1,700 is a lot, but for $1,700, you do get a full leather designer handbag. As for, let's say, Louis Vuitton, you'll pay around the same amount or more for a similar bag, but you're getting canvas. So that's just something to think about throughout the video. So let's just take a moment to browse the Saint Laurent website. And as you can see, the bag does come in a wide array of different colors. So you can get it in black, beige, green, red, navy, you name it. It also comes in a bunch of different materials. So you'll leather, patent leather, suede, canvas, and as I'm sure you've noticed, it, there are many hardwares available. So gold, silver, you can also get it in the um, black on black, like for the blackout, so black hardware. So when I was trying to decide what color to get, I was really looking for a light neutral colored bag and I decided to go with this beigey color. This color on the website is called um, Ivory Natural or Natural Ivory, one of the two. And the reason why I like this color so much is because it is a beigey color but however beiges sometimes can be tricky. Sometimes they can have like a yellow undertone or too much of a, like a pinky undertone and that's not the case with this bag which is what I love so much. It's more of like a caramelly brownish beige kind of like I can compare it to almost the, um, like when you buy a new Louis Vuitton bag, the Vaquetta leather, that's the kind of color this bag is. I don't know if it's capturing it in the camera, but that's the color. The bag, as I mentioned earlier, is 100% calf leather, and it is like a hard, durable leather. However, it's still smooth and buttery, so you do get the best of both worlds, which is what I love. As for the hardware, it is gold hardware, but it's more of like a brushed gold. It kind of has like a bronzy tone. So it's not that like shiny smooth gold, which makes it more durable and the scratches do show less. So this is a fairly simple bag. The front of the bag just has like that chevron pattern. So you see the V's, that's what we call chevron. And there is the YSL leathers in the gold hardware laid over the pattern. The back it is even more simple. It's basically just the chevron pattern, and which is really good because if you don't want the logo to show, you can wear it with the back facing the front. So it makes the bag more subtle, but still is kind of a cute bag. It has a strap. It is adjustable, as you can see, and there are seven holes to this strap. Because it is leather, if ever, it, even with the seven holes, it's too long, you can just make a new hole. I keep it on the first hole, so the shortest available length, and it's completely fine for me. The strap, you adjust it with this kind of buckle, as you do with a belt. And what I love is that it does have these two leather pieces, and that helps the strap, the, well, the excess strap not to curve outward, which is one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to handbags. So now let's look at the different ways I can wear this bag. Now for reference, I am 5'6", so when I do wear it over my shoulder like this, 
it does hit under my hip, just a touch. And when I wear it crossbody, it hits right at my hip. And one of the main advantages is that the strap is leather, so it is very comfortable. It doesn't dig into your shoulder like it would a chain strap. Now, some people do say that this bag is more of a casual bag because of the leather strap, but honestly, I've worn it a couple of times with dresses and I have managed to dress it up, although it is a leather strap and not a chain one. Now, the bag does also come with a tassel. The tassel is removable, so basically you remove it by opening the, the buckle of the strap and sliding it out. It's a fairly long tassel, to be honest. And the piece that holds it together at the top does say Saint Laurent Paris. Also, there is kind of like a gold plaque above the tassel. And this plaque also does say Saint Laurent Paris. Now the zipper goes all across the top of the bag, like you can see. And it is a fairly easy zipper to open and get in and out of the bag. The bag does open fairly wide. And like you've seen, it is just a big black hole. There is a back pocket. And what's great about this bag is that the back pocket does go all along the bag. So it's, you can easily fit your phone in the pocket. I don't know if you see that. So the pocket starts here and goes all the way to the end. On the pocket, there is a leather piece that does say Saint Laurent Paris in gold. And the inside, it's not leather, it's more of a grass grain, so it's like a material interior of the bag, which is not a bad thing because you can throw your keys in and it won't get scratched. There's no chance it will get scratched or damaged because of your keys. The bag is made in Italy, and as for the dimensions, it does measure 23 centimeters in length, 16 in height, and the thickness or the width is 6 centimeters. As for the, um, the strap drop, it's 58.5 centimeters. You can't really see it in the camera, so it does hang fairly low compared to other bags. Now, considering this is an all-leather bag, it is fairly lightweight. I mean, I fill it to max capacity and I wear it all day and it is very comfortable. It's really not that heavy. And the leather strap does help, as I did mention. Now let's talk about wear and tear. Honestly, I've had this bag for a year and a half and it is in excellent condition. There is no color transfer whatsoever and this is a light colored bag. The corners are impeccable. There are no scratches on the leather, no scratches on the hardware. It really is in excellent condition and I've worn this bag a ton. I wear it to run my daily errands. I wear it for nights out with the girls for drinks. I do get a lot of use of it and I don't baby it at all. This bag does fit a ton, so let's look at what it can fit exactly. So I'm gonna try to get this all on camera. My phone and battery charger. My card holder. My keys. Floss, you never know what you get, might, you might get stuck in your teeth. Hand sanitizer. My lip glosses. Some hand cream. And I would have space to fit a little bit more as you can see. But honestly, for my purposes, this is what I usually carry with me. And as you can see, it does close nicely and easily and there is no change in shape whatsoever. So for pros and cons, this bag does have a lot of pros. It's a classic shape, it's timeless. I feel you can wear it at any age, so you can get a lot of use of it over the years. It's at a great price and it is very durable as you have seen. Now for the cons, there are two main ones, I must admit. My main con is honestly, sometimes the tassel can be a little long, so it really just dangles down there and if you walk a little quickly, it kind of dangles back and forth and kind of hits your leg, which can get kind of annoying at times. But I like the look too much to take it off, so I continually wear it with the bag. I feel like it gives it some character, some style, makes it a little bit more interesting. 
And the second con with this bag is that I don't know if you can see in the camera, but the top part does stick up a little bit. And this is, I keep my bag stuffed, so it's not because I, I don't stuff my bags. No matter how much I fill the bag, this piece always sticks up, but I have read there are a lot of people that have complained about this, so I really do think it's just the way the bag is made. So all in all, I'm very happy with my purchase. I love wearing it. I will continue to wear it for a long time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you some good tips about the Saint Laurent Lou camera bag. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!